Hey, this is Pastor Rick. We have been on a journey, my friends. We've been looking at Philippians 4 and 8. One verse. It's got a lot of power in it. And each word in the verse has spoken to us about our thought process. Because how you think affects everything. As a man thinks, you know, as a man processes, it affects what he becomes. And so I want you to, to look at your thinking. I want you to just pause for a second. Some of you, you say, how do you do that? You don't do this. You know? <laughs> <laughs> or sit there and go, you know, you know. Sometimes maybe that's a good idea. I, know, I do it. I, I am big on meditation. Oh, man, I am so big. I am so, so big. You'd be shocked to know. I just sit there for an hour, you know, and just think, you know, out loud even. Nobody's around. I can talk to myself. And I just think out loud. I think about what I want, where I want to go. I think about my future, my failures, my successes. I ask myself our questions. I just have, a, and I pray, and I do all this good stuff. It's really cool. And it, it kind of gets my, gets my day going. You know, it's like a karate master. I sit there, and I think, God, how should I be? What should I think? And then I, I, I love to blend the Bible with it. So Philippians 4, let me show you the verse, okay? And I'm going to read it to you one last time, and I want you, to, I, want you know, I want you to see, at least in this study, this is my last time in this study. Philippians 4, listen to what it says, verse 8. Finally, brothers and sisters. At the end of this conversation to the Philippian church, it's been an amazing church, kind to me, all that good stuff. Here's what I want to say to you. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if there's anything that's excellent or praiseworthy, I want you to think about such things. I want your mind to only focus on stuff that's going to advance you, that's praiseworthy. You know, everything is not worth your, your mental real estate. I, you, know, you know, there's a wonderful book, um, Who Switched My, Who Switched My Brain? And, and the author um, talks about how a person can, can have this incredible life, right? And I'm, I'm gonna look the book up for you really quickly, and 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 I need I need my I need my specs to do that. And one of the things that that that, that said is your your brain occupies mental real estate, and when your your brain is tied up with a bunch of stuff, right, and it it it, it can become this dangerously toxic place, and. Um, when, when you look around and you go, wow, how did my brain get so, so, so messed up? I mean, I am, I am always sad and, uh, you know, um, my brain's always off key. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't gather myself. I can't, I don't know what to do with myself. And Carolyn Leaf in her book talks about this incredible problem that becomes this habit of frustration is all because of what you think about. So you have to pause and say to yourself, man, what happened to my brain? It's a book called Who Switched My Brain? Switch, switch, one, there's several books she has, and, but one of them is on, it's called Switch On Your Brain. <laughs> I love it. But Carolyn Leaf writes a lot about that. You can Google or find her name, like Leaf. And, and part of what I've enjoyed in her work is Philippians 4, 8 is what it says. Whatsoever, I think, affects me. Sometimes it's not the devil. It's not an evil spirit. It's not a wicked angel. It's what you choose to think about. So I want you to do something for yourself. Change the way you think. And find something he says that's praiseworthy. Praiseworthy. Is there anything that's worth celebrating, lifting your hands up, telling God thank you. Is there anything like that? Think about that and it changes everything. So today is a praise day. What's praiseworthy? Talk about it, think about it, anything else, kick it out. Today is the day we praise God and I'm gonna pray for you. Father, let this be a moment of praise, healing, lifting, strengthening, and I pray that they would leave this conversation saying, that was good for me. I needed that in Jesus' name. My name is Pastor Ricky Temple. You go praise the Lord. Go read that book by Carolyn Leaf. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Stay sharp.